Hey creators, I'm Larimar. In this video, I created a pick a card rating. My rating is all about how to become the best version of yourself. And I'll be specifically focusing on how to improve your love life. And it all starts from yourself within. So this would be more of like self-love guidance. Whether you have a partner or not, the relationship yourself is the paramount. Nothing can beat your relationship with yourself, not even your partner, children, or family, friends. Because it all starts from you. So this applies to anyone who are interested in improving your self-love and self-care. So here are three illustrations and pick one image you're most drawn to. Or you can choose the pile that you're most drawn to. Feel free to pause this video if you need more time and if you want to see more cool illustrations by this artist, check out this Instagram. And I would like to start off with shout outs today. You know, we are all co-creating this experience together. I really appreciate your engagement, like liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing this video. So here are shout outs for this week. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you're interested in getting featured, it's very simple. Just take a picture of this video and share it to your Instagram stories. And make sure to tag me Tarot Day, which is my tarot account. If you haven't followed it, consider subscribing because I post daily guidance for self-love, self-care, and self-empowering message. It's all about positive good vibes. Yeah, just post it to your Instagram stories and that is it. So without further ado, let's get started. And this reading is all about how to improve your love life. Done that intro. Okay, so if you pick the first image or the first pile, this is the message for you. So let's see, you've got coffin. Huh, interesting. And by the book, surrender to success. Anxiety. Let your friends help you. All right, so this reading is all about how to improve your love life. Okay, so one thing that is sticking to me is your pressure to meeting expectations of others can get in the way of your self care. You can be stressed because of other people's opinions on you. So it's very important to let go, let it die, you know? What can improve your love life is relaxing the idea of making accomplishment within a certain period of time. This could be you imposing high expectations on yourself and you're stressing yourself. Some of you may be just holding too much onto yourself, like keeping too much to yourself and not really sharing. So just simply talking to your friends can relieve a lot of stress and just being honest with what's going on. You don't have to fake things up. I'm feeling a lot of you guys playing a certain roles because of some pressure and and because you want to present yourself in certain ways. So to save your face, you're not sharing as much as you're supposed to. You may need to let go of the old image of yourself. Some of you may be thinking that you're not good enough to making success. That just ring true. And... I would highly recommend you to acknowledge your progress. You may not accomplish the greatest things yet. You're on the way though, and you're taking the steps one at a time. Overall, you're making a lot of progress. Maybe not fulfilling your expectations. And sometimes your friends or colleagues the third person's perspective can relieve your stress. 
get your burdens off of your shoulder. So this month, relax the idea of making accomplishments. And oh, I would love to read it out to you. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Some of you would be thinking that you entered into a new relationship, or are currently developing it into the next level, and the previous experience may be haunting you and make yourself doubt that if you're gonna make it happen, if you're going to be able to really enjoy this relationship. So don't let the past experience hold you back because the past is past and the present is present. The reason why you might be so anxious is you're not simply staying present. At the present moment, nothing is really going on. The most dramatic experience are actually going on in your mind. And when you tackle down, give death to, to the hyperactive mind, then you're going to find peace and release the expectations on external accomplishments and really own that you are good enough to receive what you desire. I know this is a love life, but your love life is related to your career and financial situations. So you can feel much better and feeling loved by simply sharing your honest feeling with your friends or your love interest, the close people you can confide in, and the anxiety will fade out and you keep moving on to the next step. And things are falling into the lap. So I hope this helps you. Let me know how you resonate with it. And if you enjoyed this reading, like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button so you can get notification every time I post a video. And if you love Tara Guidance, follow me at Tara Day on Instagram where you can get daily Tara advice for positive self-care and self-empowering messages. Thank you and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hey, if you picked the second image or the second pile, this is the message for you. This reading is all about how to improve your love life, especially self-love. Your relationship with yourself you've got key discovery past life relationship you've known each other before and you've got two surrender cards surrender to non-action surrender procrastination okay we've got message in the bottle Door to Romans. Ooh, I like it. So, group two, I feel that a lot of you may already um, are in relationship or having a new love interest. There are a lot of romantic vibes that are going on. And I love this, you know, you have a key here and you have the same cage, like similar cage. And these are different deck. I love how these cards are speaking to each other. So I feel like you have the key to unlock your hurt. I'm feeling a lot of heart chakra energy, opening up, enhancing your heart chakra, meaning that you're now more capable of sharing, loving, giving and receiving love freely. And important messages are coming. This could be from your loved ones. Or simply it could be a message from your inner voice, inner child. There's a telephone here. So you guys may be actively texting with your love interest. And you can get a message from the past, I feel like. And 
It's interesting that you've got door to romance and past life relationships. So for some of you, you may be reuniting with your ex. There can be a second chance coming up. And what's interesting is you've got surrender to non-action and procrastination. So I feel like this is very important that let things happen fro uh, freely, effortlessly. Don't try to fix something or control especially um, other people's reaction so let it be and observe it reads now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you so the best way to improving your love life is just staying Staying present and focusing on your own vibration. You're responsible for uplifting your mood, not your partner, not your loved ones. And now, simply just breathing in and, and entering into a meditative state will help you raise your vibration. And when you raise your vibration, you can see more, farther and more messages that have been always there in front of you that you might have overlooked. Your love life are looking really good. And if you're single and not interested in partnership, I feel like you're going to have new insight from your past relationship. This could be just daydreaming about your ex or past lover. And we are in the retrograde season until September 2020. But by the way, this video is timeless. So whenever you come across this message, that is the right moment. Synchronistically, the message arrives to you. And you may be just simply thinking about your rela past relationship and get new insight. And oh, you suddenly got an idea, like something that you couldn't get back then are now making sense because you now are getting more information from someone else or it could be just an epiphanic moment and overall i feel like your heart chakra is enhancing so it's very important that you don't block the love someone is giving to you so just let it happen and don't try so hard just let it be You've got also surrender progress nation. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Okay, so these two cards seem like contradicting each other. Okay, let me get more information. <laughs> I want to know what is it about things that you're procrastinating. You've got Uranus in the ninth house. So the ninth house is all about your long-term vision, your higher learning. For some of you guys, it could be about college, education. And Uranus is about radical movement, changes. Could be something related to technological device, engineering, astrology, a community where you can share common goals. Oh, that rings true. Yeah, so something that has to do with learning. And foreign country, it could be about traveling, philosophy or spiritual development, motivation, life attitude in general. So on that context, don't procrastinate going after your long-term visions and surrender to non-action. Let's see. I think this is about, yeah, relationship. Relationship. Uh, and you've got the sixth house. So you guys might be having a love affairs in work environment or your day-to-day -day immediate environment. Your potential lovers are very near you. It's within your reach. And don't try to be... Don't try so hard to make things happen because 
I'm seeing that it's already happening and just let it unfold. And if you have any attachment to your ex, when you are dealing with a totally new person, then work on releasing your ex in past experience. I mean, past negative experience. You need to let go of that emotional baggage so you can create room for new things to come in. But for others, I also feel that there is going to be a second chance with your ex. So yeah, this is a message for you. And if you liked it, like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button so that you can get a notification every time I post this video. Follow me on Instagram, Tara Day, where you can get daily posts for self-love, self-empowering messages. And I hope this is helpful for you. And let me know how you resonate with it and what you love the most. I would love to hear from you. I love reading your comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. All right. So if you pick the third image or the third pile, this is the message for you. This reading is all about how to improve your love life and your relationship with yourself. You've got the well. This is about deepening your awareness, understanding of about a certain subject. You've got third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Very active card. Surrender stress. Milk and honey. This is one of my favorite cards. And you also got the ch children. Your love life is being affected by children. So this could indicate your actual children or your inner child. Let your inner child freely play and let creativity flow out of you and let creativity be expressed through you. To improve your love life, first of all, surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. I feel like the third group is very active. You're very physically active and um, in terms of your career, third chakra is another symbol of action. For third chakra, this is where a lot of emotional baggages are stored. In other words, when you're super stressed, you can feel it from your gut. It's interesting that these two people are having some light on the belly. I love how these two different cards are speaking to each other. So in order to improve your life, you need to let go of stress. Whether you're in a relationship or not, when you're stressed, you cannot give enough values to your loved ones. Because when you're not operating yourself optimally, the people around you need to take care of you. And that can be a burden for those people as well. So you're not happy and in the long run, they may not be so happy because there's more responsibilities and burdens on their end as well. So nobody is really happy. So that's why you need to take care of yourself first. Even if you have a lot of people depending on you, the most important thing you need to fulfill, satisfy is your inner child. Let yourself have fun. How much have fun do you have a day? You know, let yourself be free from stress. It could be just drawing, painting, doodling, singing, or allow yourself to watch a movie, comedy show. I feel like a lot of you guys from group three are taking a lot for others and it's very important that you get back onto your milk and honey find the joy again what can help improve the quality of your day-to-day -day and day-to-day -day life could be just having a solitude having alone time and introspecting this is one of the most spiritual cards in the lenormand deck just really looking deep within yourself and 
get some insights. What do you really want? What do you really love? Forget about others for now, at least for one hour a day. And use this third chakra energy, the active energy for yourself to express who you are. And if you have a kid or children, try to connect with your kids. If you're a teacher and dealing with little children younger than you are, their energies can help you get in touch with your inner child. They can help you take off the seriousness of life. So through the interaction with actual kids or your inner child, you can awaken the lightheartedness. You can invite more lighthearted energy into your life and have more fun. So that is the message for you. Once you do this work, your partner, if you have, are going to be much more satisfied just being with you, getting along with you. And if you're single, you can still have a lot of fun. And actually, this can, these creative activities can be developed into something more productive and lucrative results because this also represents a career. So by releasing your stress, following your joy, and you can accomplish more and give yourself more fulfillment. Quality alone time is going to help you improve the overall wellness of your life. So I hope this is helpful. And if you enjoyed this reading, like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button so you can get notification every time I post this video. And, and what else? Lastly, and if you love getting tarot guidance, follow Tarot Day on Instagram. You can get my daily tarot advice for self-love, for self-empowerment. And let me know, comment below what, how you resonate with it. I would love to hear from you. I love reading your comments. Yeah, thank you. Your love life would be really fulfilling and very in self-enriching when you satisfy your inner child and stay away from the source of stress. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.